Yo, what's going on guys, many here and welcome back to some more Weekend League gameplay. This is Fut Champs, this is the 40 games that we smash out every weekend more or less, unless I get fed up. But yeah, I changed the team up a bit this week, I got Pele back up front, uh, I had Hammers in centre mid, which I wasn't too sure about, I don't really like him on this game, he's got really good long shots, but apart from that, I don't feel like he added much, so I did change him further down the line. But this is the first 10 games, and you guys know that if you want any sort of chance of doing decent in Fut Champs, you need to do well in your first 10 games, coming out with at least 8 wins if you want any chance of getting like maybe a gold one or an elite uh, sort of finish but yeah you can see we're 4-1 up in this game Ronaldo getting a goal there and look at this goal that he gets like the goalkeeping at times is what really stresses me out but we do manage to win that first game 4-2 uh, so then from there we go into the second game this guy's got Lukaku up top he's got Inform Sterling right wing and he's also got Sanchez on the left hand side but we go through with Ronaldo and when he goes through and he's away from Bailly he has to be away from Bailly because if Bailly touches him or gets near him he's getting pushed off the Ball. I don't know how that works or why that is working, but that's just how it is. When he gets away from Bay, he's very effective. If he's around him, then it's just game over. But you can see we got 2 1 up, then we make it 3 1 here. Ronaldinho getting into the box, sneaking in there to make it 3 1, and then this guy decides to call it quits. That's the rage quit that we get there. Into the third game, and we have this Mane up top. When someone has that Mane, it's always going to be a problem. He's so difficult to defend against, and he's very, very fast. But you can see here, Pella going forward. He's also very fast. Flicks it over the head of Van Dijk after the skill, and he bangs it in to make it 1-0. And there we get a replay of it. Van Dijk committing too easily, and Pele smashing it in. Then after that, Ronaldinho steps up and takes a penalty, making it 2-0 to us. So we're doing well right now. We're in control of the game totally. And then Hammer sets it back to Ronaldo there. He does that skill that I told you last week was quite effective, and uh, we get some luck and we make it 3-0. From there, it was just pretty much our game. There was no way this guy was getting back into it. Vidal over the top ball from Hammers and Vidal slots it to make it 4-0. And then Ronaldinho using a burst of pace here away from his defender. Looks like he might make it 5. I'll go with the skill to be a bit cheeky. Win a penalty. But then from there, Begovic gives that away. Uh, this guy decides that's it. This is just getting too much and quits the game. Rage quit. Let me know, guys. I'm interested to know who scores the most goals against you in Fight Champs. What individual scores the most goals against your team in Fight Champs? Is it Martial? Is it Jesus? For me, it's mostly Martial, and I think there's like guys like Son. Son scored a lot against me this fight, champs. But there we go, 2-0 up. Pele capitalising on a mistake, and we make it 3-0. And then Ronaldinho sliding into the box to make it 3-0. And there is a rage quit there uh, from Phoenix team, and another win for us. So yeah, we are looking strong. Four games played, four wins. Can we go on that 10-0 streak? We'll find out. We come up against Net6 and Chill. What an annoying name. But yeah, you can see here, Hullet has it, plays it to Hammers. And I still don't know what to think of him. Like, I used him in the first few games and I wasn't really feeling him. Uh, I had Talisso on the bench that I was intending to use sometimes. But yeah, Hammers, apart from his long shots, there isn't much to him. He just seems to be a bystander in the game. And that's how I found him to be. But you can see Ronaldinho breaking down this left-hand side. And what you will see here is a very jammy goal. Like, I wasn't even happy to score this goal. But you know, like... I'm going to take it. It happens against me. It happens to other people. It's FIFA. Sanchez and Morata up front. Not something you see every day. A very weird duo indeed. But this time Ronaldo is causing problems uh, outside this guy's box. He gets a bit of luck. Drags it away from his defenders. And drives it low and hard into the bottom corner to give us the 1-0 lead uh, within 6 minutes. But Morata all of a sudden grows superpowers. Turns into an icon momentarily. And uh, finesse with the left foot from outside the box, which doesn't make any sense to me. But Hammers coming up trumps again, actually. So he did all right. Like, thinking about it, Hammers did all right. He scores again in this clip as well. But, you know, sometimes you're using a player and you don't enjoy using him. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Like, he might be scoring or something, but you don't actually enjoy using a player. He feels a bit stiff or a bit slow or something. But here, we pop this guy to shreds and we make it 4-2 there. Vidal getting on the score sheet again. And then Hullet playing this through to Ronaldo onto Ronaldinho. A bit of nice play. And this guy decides that's it. That is it for me. You see the pause icon and that is a rage quit. 6-0, moving ever strongly forward towards that 10 mark, but can we make it there? Ronaldinho goes through and on goal here, and I waste a chance. You know when you think the goalkeeper's coming out, you chip it, you make that mistake? Well, it costs us, because Kovacic grows skills, uh, turns into an icon momentarily, and beats David De Gea with the finesse shot. De Gea didn't even dive properly, I don't know what that was, but we pop into shreds there, and Hammers doesn't finish it. So, one of the things I've noticed, fuck champs, you need to take your chances. You don't take your chances, you get punished. So, a game we could have been drawing in, even taking the lead in, we are now losing 2 and it's left to us to try and fight back into the game. Pull it turn in there, pop it to Ronaldo, Pele with the shot, and we do get a bit of a lucky deflection, making it 2-1. But then, like, what is that cross? What is that cross? He's doing air bending. 
So he makes it 3-1, Messi gets us back into the game, but we end up losing 3-2 and I am left so very frustrated. We can't let this get to us, we have to try and get back on our feet. This guy's got Gamera up front, he's got Martial out wide and he's favoured the 4-2-3-1 formation, which is a bit strange for me. A lot of people do seem to like it. I personally haven't found a way to play with it yet and you can see we're 2-0 up and most of the time from free kicks I'll try a set piece, but this time I decided to try the power free kick with Pele and it works out for me. So we're 3-0 up and speaking of power, look at this from Ronaldo, like what is that? This game I started to see more of the power of the icons you can't unlock it every game because some people even know how to do with it or they just really keep possession park the bus and it's so very frustrating to play against but this is last week's fuck champs i'm showing you last uh, week's rewards this video as well but in the week that you'll see following that like literally the way people were playing someone gave me a tip said if people go ultra defensive you go ultra attacking and it makes their defense line like your attacking line push up with theirs, their defence line stays there, so you have a lot of room to attack. And I think that kind of works, so if, if you're having the same issue where people park the bus and stuff, go ultra attacking, try something different, and go from there. But you can see, in this next game, after we smashed that guy 7-0, it's a bit of a difficult one. Goals were literally flying in, left, right and centre, straight up, one after the other, and it was ridiculous. There I tackle the guy, and then all of a sudden, it goes back to Jesus, it's 2-2. So, I don't know, at that point, it's just like... Is it a kickoff goal? What is it? I don't know what happens after someone scores that allows you to score straight after, allows them to score straight after so quickly. It's almost as, as if the defence doesn't react after scoring a goal. But there you see, we get a bit more luck. Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo trying the scoop turn there, falls back to him and we make it 4-2. So we're winning and it looks like we might be comfortable, but no, Mane says no with that finish. So, so annoying that Mane. He brought him on as a sub as well because it felt like I was going to win the game. And in the last minute of the game, he ball rolls. Really nice skill there. Didn't expect it from Herrera and he smashes it with the weak foot. So we go into extra time and Ronaldo gives us the lead again. 120th minute though, as you do, he drives it into my bottom corner with Mane and then wins on penalties. I hate this game. But you and I both know that I'm still going to play it as much as it frustrates me because I don't know, sometimes you get a bit of a buzz from it. Sometimes it really frustrates you. And the worse you play, the more you want to play it, if that makes sense sometimes. Uh, but yeah, uh, this guy gets this goal and it just hurt my head. Like, how am I going to concede that? I've got Neuer in goal. Uh, I think it was Neuer, Neuer De Gea had one of them in goal and I expect him to be saving that but we make it 2-1 after some nice play from ourselves and then Pele going through again to make it 3-1 and if you don't know about the driven RB finish, the driven finesse finish, it's so, so very good but there again I'm left frustrated. It's Desai, passes it to Hullet, Hullet just moves out the way and then he has uh, a chance to score as a result of that but Ronaldo uh, taking no prisoners with that finish, ball roll and a bang with the left foot to make it 4-2 so we win that game and we have 8 wins out of 10. So yeah, it's not too bad, but I got really frustrated because I lost the game. So this is further down the line, just before we play against the pro player. I stripped the team back. You can see I've even got Balassi in my team and stuff like that. Like, I just got really mad, sold everything, sold Hullet, sold Ronaldinho, um, sold Roberto Carlos. I sold Desai, I sold everything and just stripped the team back. I was like, I'm changing my team next week. But we go 2-0 up against this guy and then give away that penalty. Like, what is that? I didn't do anything. I didn't press anything to give away that penalty. It just literally fouled the guy himself and it gives him a chance back into the game. And then we got up the other end with that chance there. Maybe should have fake shot, would have sold him. And then that has cost us. He's made it 2-2. And then, like, I don't know, this guy, the way he was playing was just so mad. Look at this. Look at this cross. What is that cross? Ronaldo puts it into the bottom corner, takes the lead, 3-2, Pele spins, he just couldn't get near this guy, he was really, really that good at FIFA, and then I go on Twitter and I find out he's some sort of French pro player, uh, we did give him a good game, even he had, even though he had the superior team, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not nice to be in these shoes, I see what some of you guys feel when you play against these teams, but we lose 5-3, and uh, yeah, we ended up getting gold 1, but what I have for you today is a bit different, I've got um, quite a few 100k packs to open. I've also got an icon that I opened during the Black Friday packs. Uh, so you guys can check that out. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Okay, so as you guys know, I lost my head again this week. Fuck champs. Didn't go my way. I settled for gold one. And I don't want to have to do that this week. But yeah, I sold a load of my stuff and I had almost 14 million coins, which I decided to go and start doing the Omri Squad Builder Challenge with. I haven't finished it just yet, but as a result of giving in some of the icons, I've got some 100k packs. So in addition to the 100k packs I already get from my Fight Champs rewards, uh, I've got three 100k packs uh, to open. So from five, I'm expecting something good. I know you guys always go, oh Manny, you've got all the best players in the game. How, who are you expecting to pack realistically? I told you, I want as many coins as I can so I can get these Prime cards a lot easier. So without further ado, I'm going to collect my other 100k packs. 
these are obviously as a result of gold one. I've got some other packs here to open, but we're going to go straight for the first 100k pack. Come on, boards, a high rated player, that's all I'm asking for. It might even help me complete the Omri Squad Builder Challenge. What is this? What's it going to be? Come on, please. French, CDM, Kante, no, no, no. We don't want Schneiderlin, that's not good enough. 100k pack number two, will this be any better? It has to at least just improve on the pack before. That's all I'm asking for now, because I don't want to put my hopes too high. What can we get in this one? It's not an inform, it's a gold, it's Portuguese, it's right mid, that's Bernardo Silva. No, that's not what I'm asking for, but to be fair, I did say I wanted it to be better than the pack before, and it's 84, last pack was 83. Let's move on to the next pack. Vanish, Cam. How am I supposed to do anything with this? What am I supposed to do with this? That's gone back. So now we've gone backwards from an 84 rated player. We have two 100k packs left. This is the second to last one. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Please. Just something. What is that? What is that? No. No, it just did, it did not just give me an 82 rated player. Remember these 100k packs are worth basically 20 pounds so 20 pounds imagine spending 20 pounds and getting Ben at that is ridiculous anyway this is the last 100k pack please this could change everything it could change everything and it's just absolutely not changed anything it's Diego Costa 86 rated I've had him before in my 100k pack I think we got him in the first or, or second week of our champs I can't remember 86 rated we also get Yaya Torre hiding in there he can go into squad builder challenges that's all I'm thinking about right now because I know they're very, very useful right now. Packs are trash, man. I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see people getting the madder stuff. Someone's gonna have to pack or oh, Ronaldo or Icon. Look at me getting Zila, Morata, Asensio. That's dead. I don't want these trash informs. Mm. Hmm? Oh, Vieira! I got Vieira. Patrick. Yeah, 86. Oh, that's a dead one. Oh, packed Vieira and that. Oh, two informs in a pack Courtois. Callum Wilson. Eric. Oh, that pack was fake. Huh? Oh. Just imagine if I were rapping, how would I get it? Man with a no. ATM, I just follow with the cash points. Yeah, I go on places, a man should have go. Even when the grind's forward, the money isn't. Some man snake me, the money didn't. Kept the money hidden. Cuz told me, woke safe, but I ain't even seen a move funny in a minute. Word, this ain't luck, this is all in the works. 